Hi guys, Simon here, part five. My God, five parts. Michael and Kung story. I have to say it again, if you're not into the stories, go off and look at the other videos. And for you that are thinking, oh my God, five parts is Alan's fault. So, right, we left it last time. Kung had, and Michael had just seen a old guest house building for sale, 200 meters from the beach, everything look good, needed some work, had a sale price of six million baht on it, which is ridiculous. You know, okay, it's expensive in some way, but this place needed a lot of work doing to it. They just had lunch in the hotel and they'd gone out to the pool area, sat down in the sort of uh, seating area with the covers over and they're having some drinks. And Michael's saying to Kung, well, what do you think this place is actually worth and what needs doing to it and what do you think you know is there a profit in that and what are you thinking and trying to get Kung to say something he doesn't know whether she's going to start asking him for money to buy this or what so Kung um, she's got a bit of paper and a pen and she's scribbling things down and she's looking at well, she knows what, she's, she's got a good business head on her. And she says to Michael, if we could get that property for four million baht, um, spend a million on it, we can get it up and running as a guest house, and then slowly expand it into other things. At this point, for the first time ever, she reveals her hand on money. She says to Michael, I have got spare two million baht for a business and I could go to the bank and get a mortgage for the extra money to get this place and uh, fix it up and get it running and she says I think it's a really good position I like the building I'm very keen to go forward with it however I've got to now consider you and our feelings and our relationship uh, things are fantastic she says what do you think <laughs> and she put the ball back into his corner <laughs> he's like oh god you know they'd come on holiday get to know each other they'd sort of done that 10 days they're on their next part of the holiday Michael's, he's got money in the bank, as I mentioned right back in part one. He's got 10 million baht sat in the bank. He's got his pension, which is a couple of thousand dollars a month. He's sorted. His condo in Patera is rented. He could quite easily up and move here and go into a venture. He's an ex-finance guy. He knows the score. Um, he starts asking some questions on, you know, what money would it bring in and what turnover and all the rest of it and she's shown him some numbers and it looks it's a viable business you know um but not at the price tag of six million baht for the building so he said well i i didn't really want to get into all this but we could set up this business we could go for it together and uh if we did it right and we got staff, we wouldn't have to work all the time. I can still be retired and we could give it a go and it's lovely here on the island. Just what Kung wanted to hear. Um, so then Kung starts talking money with him. She says, I could make an offer, I would offer them four million baht for the building, not six. And another million to do it up. So she said I can and she, again, she's saying, I can borrow from the bank, get a mortgage for three million baht and put two million baht down, no problem. Um, are you happy to join me on this as my partner? Um, do you want to just be in the relationship or would you like to come in and we do the business together? And Michael's, he's just totally in love. He's totally lost and besotted. He's thinking in his head, he's doing some numbers and he said, well, it's five million bought and done up, if you can get it for that four million. Uh, 
that. So what's the worst that can happen? He's only going to put a couple of two and a half million baht into it. And he's turned around and said, if we do it right with all the right paperwork as partners, um, you put the two million in, I will put two million in, and uh, I will put a loan of one million into the business so it can be done up and got going. So he's put, put three million baht on the table, but he's saying the one million's got to be paid back from the business. And cool, absolutely fine. Yep, that works for me. We can get paperwork drawn up at the lawyers and we can go forward from there. That's it, they've decided. Bang goes his retirement, but this is the woman of his dreams. Apart from that wrinkly body. She's stunning. She's five foot eight. He's 5'10", she's slim, long hair, beautiful eyes, always smart dress, very clever, great English. It's the perfect woman. It really is, isn't it? Is it? Hmm. So, next, um, in that afternoon, Kung makes a phone call to the agent, puts an offer for a three and a half million baht in for the building. Um, no phone call back next morning. Call back, sorry, not accepted. Kung ups it to four million and tells them that's it. They're walking away at that point. Won't go more than four million baht for the building. Within 10 minutes, the call comes back. It's yours, four million baht. They've took two million baht off the price of that building. They've got it, four million baht. Um, Kung gets uh, a couple of phone calls to somebody in Bangkok, a lawyer. Doesn't know any on the island. Um, makes some phone calls. Tells the lawyer about Michael partnership and that he's putting a million baht in as a loan. Can he get drawn up all the paperwork? Can he make the purchase of the property and get it all done? Um, Michael's fine with that. It's some law company in Bangkok that Kung knows and used before. Um, all he's got to do is transfer 3 million baht to Kung's account and then she'll transfer it to the lawyer and they'll do the purchase. Um, all straightforward really. So he can't do the bank transfers from Samui though. He needs to get back to his condo in Patea. To, to do all that um, so they make arrangements with the agent for who's selling the, the building that they've got to go back and sort this out and the lawyers will be in touch battery flashing oh, here we go again so that's it they decide right we're buying it everything's sorted they've got to leave the hotel get back to Patea um, so they book a flight, leave the hotel, Michael pays for the hotel, gets a flight booked, off to the airport, back to Bangkok. Um, now, Kung says, I need to stay in Bangkok, go and see the lawyers. Can you go, obviously, to Patea, sort your end out, um, and come back up here in the next day or so? And we'll arrange to meet up, hotel or something. And get this all sorted. Mm. Absolutely fine, Michael's fine with that. So, Kung goes off on one taxi to Bangkok Centre and Michael heads straight down to Patera in a taxi, heads home. And, uh, yeah, gets back. He then, it's late in the evening, so he, next morning, before he does anything, goes off and finds his friends. Um, to have a chat with them. Just before he, you know, makes anything concrete, he wants some other advice and he goes and chats with his friends and tells them everything. They're gobsmacked, they're like, wow, you wanted to retire, you didn't want a business? And you're going into a business, you're putting money in. Can you afford it? Etc. Yeah. Are you gonna get it all written down, paperwork covered by lawyers? Yes. Going to the lawyers doing all above board, covering himself. They said, fantastic, okay, if you're sure and you're happy and you're in love and this is not going to 
break the bank and you want to do this, good luck. We'll see you when we see you. He'd already made his mind up that he was going through with this. He was just telling his friends and I suppose no matter what they said, he was going to get through with this. Anyway, back to the condo, gets hold of his bank, does a bit of internet moving around money and things like that. Transfers money from the USA to his bank in Thailand. Um, 24 hours, money will be there. And all he's got to do is transfer it to the lawyer in Bangkok, which he can do from Bangkok um, using his Thai bank, online banking. So gets on the phone to Kung, says he'll be up the next day to Bangkok, they arrange to meet um, at a hotel that she's booked which is again in uh, th now this time it's hotels in Pratanam market it's the Bioki sky tower or the tall one at the back of the market she's there and he's gonna come up the next day in a taxi and meet her then they're gonna go to the lawyers and sort everything out all good sorted brilliant up he goes the next day meets Kung goes to the lawyers. Now the lawyers wasn't a main street lawyer, it was more of a back street lawyer, a reasonable soy off Sukhumvit, somewhere around 12 or 14. Um, small shop, but offices upstairs, and there was a nice reception area, and a couple of lawyers there. Kung had said to uh, Michael that she'd used them before, with family matters, and they were reasonable and they knew what they were doing and they were good speaking English and they would explain everything to him about all the paperwork they need to do. So, meet the lawyer, go through everything. Now, battery went again, isn't that typical? So, they've got to sort everything out with the lawyers. Now, they're not married. Um, there's two lawyers in this company, both speak English and the lawyer did say to uh, Michael that he could go and see the other lawyer if he wanted to do it separately but no he said that's fine not married so the land of the guest house is going to have to go in Kung's name Michael could get a tabby and yellow book on the property but they needed to do paperwork just in case anything went wrong so disclaimers etc that if they broke up a partnership the other one would buy the other one out and they set a fee of five million baht, four million for the property and a million to do it up. So if anything went wrong, one would buy the other one out for um, of the property or whatever money's put in. Michael was putting the three million in. So he would be get his three million back if anything went wrong on the paperwork. And or he'd buy Kung out for two million. And that's that's if the partnership broke up and they were going to buy each other out. So that all had to be written up and sorted with the lawyers. Um, and the lawyer said it's going to take a couple of days. In the meantime, Michael transferred his, put uh, two million baht to the lawyer and Kung put two million and transferred. I think Michael actually about another 50, 60,000 baht to cover all the costs of the lawyers, which should all be written into the paperwork anyway case anything went wrong. So the lawyers, money was going towards the lawyers, they would do the purchase the next day, they'd do all the paperwork, and then Kung and Michael would have to go in and sign all the paperwork, make every, sure everything's above board and all sorted. Um, so I'm going to cut this down a bit because we've gotten on to quite a few parts, aren't we? A couple of days go past, all the paperwork's done, they go back to the lawyers, they're still staying in Bangkok in the Skyoki. Sky, Bioki Sky Tower. They've um, they've just been milling around buying bits and pieces and eating and usual things. So they go back to the lawyers, sign everything. The lawyer's done the purchase of the property. It's now bought. All the documents are signed. Everything's above board. They've got two lots of copies of everything for each of them. They're now the proud owners of the guest house to be in Koh Samui, in Chuang Beach or whatever it's called, or just outside. Kung's over the moon, she's, the business is sorted, 
she's got her partner, Michael's over the moon, he's in love. Everything is absolutely perfect. Now, um, the guest house is not really habitable at the moment, it needs the work done to it. So they're going to have to go move, both of them, down to Samui, get everything sorted. So over the next two weeks, they back to Patea. Michael gives notice on his condo, it's a month's notice. Um, Kum has not said to Michael what her living accommodation is, but whatever it is, she's sorted it and ready to go. Neither of them have got loads and loads of stuff, so um, it's a pretty easy move. It's a case of just a few suitcases and get on a plane and down. Um, skipping that month because it's they're just both in love and uh, things are moving forward nicely. So they up, get on a plane, land in Samui with their belongings and find a rented condo for a couple of months, short term rent. Um, they're going to be living together. This is the first time in the relationship. Amazing. So they get a condo, they get all their belongings in there, they move in, day one in the condo, and that's where I'm going to finish now on this part. <laughs> How many parts is this going to be? There's so much more. <laughs> this is like a soap opera. Right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.